Monday afternoon, sunny Los Angeles, California. Back here, we have the Gardens Casino. Slightly later start than I was hoping to get to get out here today. I've uh, been doing the editing. Been trying to get an early start on the editing while I'm on the road trip. Do like half an episode, then get out and play. Come back home, do the other half of the episode. Call it a night, rinse and repeat. Man, the weather here is perfect right now. Kind of tempting to just skip the casino grind, but we can't have that. Got to get in there. One of my two favorite casinos in Los Angeles here, Gardens Casino. Also really like the Hollywood Park. So I'm gonna go in here and see how busy the room is, see how many games there are. And if it's a little slow, maybe head up to aforementioned Hollywood Park Casino. There's also a little bit of scenery I wanna try and take in while we're here in Los Angeles. So many things to do in LA, but the games are always pretty good. So it's tough to not just end up grinding it out at the poker table, but we'll see. We're gonna see what happens. We're gonna try and make a concerted effort to uh, do all of the above if possible. All right, gonna head in there. Hope to hop in a 510 game in here shortly. All right guys, poker is underway here. 510, 1500 max at the gardens. In this hand, the under the gun plus two player makes it $35 and I looked down at king queen off suit. I like to put this hand in my three bet range. So in this instance, I make it 110 to go. Directly on his left, I put in the three bet. Folds back to the initial raiser who makes the call. So heads up to a flop. Flop comes ace, jack, rag, two spades. He checks it over to me and I think you can go either way here with a check back or a C bet. Having a flush draw on board, I kind of like leaning towards a C bet. So I bet $85, he makes the fold and we're happy to take this one down with King High. All right, so in this hand, straddle is on. Action pulls to me on the button. I look down at six, seven of clubs. Make it 65 to go, only the straddler falls. Heads up to a flop. Flop an open ender here. Eight five deuce rainbow. Checked it to me. Pretty good flop to see bet I think. So I make it eighty dollars. Straddler makes the call. Turns an ace of diamonds, which brings a second diamond. Checks it over to me again. Seems like it should be a good card for my range. So I'm gonna keep betting here. But one hundred and fifteen dollars. Unfortunately, the straddler decides to put in a check raise, and he makes it a mere sum of six hundred dollars to go. So yeah, this hand is over. All right, in this hand, action folds to me in late position. I raise it up with six five of hearts, $35. Big blind puts in a three bet, makes it $125. I think we're deep enough here. We're like 15 or 1600 effective. So I go ahead and make the call. And we're off to a flop, heads up. Not really the flop that I had in mind. King Jack eight with two spades, bets 135 or something like that. No love, no love thus far. In this hand, there's a middle position open to 30. I'm in the hijack and I look down at pocket aces. $90 to go for me. The cutoff cold calls and the original razor calls as well. Three ways to a flop this time with our pocket aces. Flop comes 10, 10, four with two diamonds. Initial razor checks. Definitely want to put in a C bet here and I don't think I need to make it too big. So I size down a little bit and go 115. Cutoff things for a while and then he folds. Initial razor folds pretty quick. Not a ton of action, but always happy to drag in the pot. So in this hand, the under the gun player limps in. I look down at King Jack off suit. Under the gun plus one. It's a little bit early position, but I think it's still okay. The limper, I'm gonna try and ISO him. It might be a little bit tough to ISO him from early position, but I'm still gonna put in a raise. I make it $40 to go and we get three callers. So like I said, a little bit tough to isolate from this early position, but when the flop comes down, flop an open ender, queen 10, five, two clubs. Big blind and the limper check. 
I'm gonna put in a C bet here and make it $90. There's a call to my left and the big blind calls as well. So three ways to a turn card. Pretty good turn card here. Offsuit ace. Turn the nuts. Big blind checks it to me. Obviously putting in a bet here. I bet $245. The player on my left holds right away. The big blind, however, does not hold. Puts in a check raise. Makes it about $500 to go. I ask him how much he has left. He's only got about $350 behind. So pretty straightforward situation here. I have the nuts. Not too much money behind. I go ahead and jam all in. He calls it off. River is basically a brick. Offsuit off eight. I show, and uh, he shows his pocket tens for a flop set. So, a little bit of a cooler situation there for the big blind. Pretty tough for him to ever get away. I wasn't going to fold the flop to a check raise anyway, so... Not a very good situation for him. Some, some run good for us, for sure. Happy to uh, drag in a decent sized pot here. Check it out. Remember the volcano? Eh, volcano? It's about 10 to one in the morning right now. Just about to head out of here. There was one hand that I uh, wasn't able to record, unfortunately. I screwed up, my bad. But it was pretty interesting, so need to share it. Gotta put it on record here. So there's a late position open to $35. There's two calls, and I defend the big blind with 9-7 off suit. The flop comes down ace, eight, six, rainbow. So we flop an open ender. We all check to the button, who puts out a bet. Thanks, man. Thanks, man. Totally. Look at that. There's a little, there's a cat under that car. It's not dead, it's sleeping. It was just moving, I promise. All right, so as I was saying, we all check to the button who bets $80. The small blind calls, I make the call as well. So three ways to a turn card. Pretty, pretty good turn card. Ten of diamonds, so we turn the nuts. Backdoor flush draw on board. Small blind leads out. Leads out on this card for $115. Seems more than likely that uh, he likes his hands. I also think it's probably good to uh, charge potential sets, two pairs, backdoor flush draws, all of the above, rather than just flat call. So I decided to put in a raise. I raised it up to $330. The button cold calls and the small blind calls as well. So pretty big pot developing so far. Three ways to a river card. Not my favorite river card. Four of diamonds. Not only that, but the small blind just jams all in. Open jams for about $700. Not that great of a spot. Not loving it. I was hoping for uh, no board pairing cards on the river, but this card doesn't seem super ideal either. So I just decided to fold. I fold fairly quickly, I don't even uh, tank for too long. The button says he's all in, I call. Small blunt shows eight, seven of diamonds. Button shows ace, jack of diamonds. So that's a little unfortunate for that river card to uh, make its way onto the board. They both were drawing dead to diamonds and uh, able to find the fifth diamond on the river. So it would have been nice to win that pot, but uh, that's the way it goes. So we were in the game for 1500 cash out for 1707 little profit $207 pretty close to break even can't complain much better than losing although it's weird because it's almost it's almost like i prefer a loss versus break even as far as like storytelling in the blog goes because break even is really anticlimactic makes for a much better story when there's a you know decent sized winner or decent sized loss but Obviously, personally and financially, much more happy with a uh, small win or a, a break-even session than a loss. All right, one in the morning now. Just gonna call it a day. Call it a night, head back to the uh, the hotel. Back to the grind tomorrow, somewhere. I'm not exactly sure where. I do have to check out of my room because I wasn't sure 
how long I wanted to stay in LA, but I always want to stay longer. Every time I come to LA, I always want to stay longer, and I'm going to stay longer. Um, so, problem is, once again, my hotel is two and a half times the price tomorrow night than it was tonight. Don't know why this happens. Tomorrow is uh, Tuesday night. Jacking up the rates on a Tuesday night. Go figure. We'll see where we end up.